Philippines was once Asia's leading rice producer. It's now the region's leading importer. As food prices spiral around the globe, it's planning to boost rice production by 7%. Rice is, in short, a valuable political commodity in the Philippines. At the International Rice Research Institute, which is based in the country, they're trying to develop new strains. It was a seed provided by the institute that was taken by Wangari Matai into the Arctic vault. When the grounds of the institute, rice fields sit next to the laboratories as scientists race to develop strains of rice that will be able to resist any of the weather conditions that climate change may bring. Top priority at the moment is the creation of a crop that can survive flooding. We've been able to develop some varieties that uh, have much more tolerance to submergence. They can survive for up to two weeks under flooding, whereas most varieties would, would die within a few days. One is a popular variety in Bangladesh, and it's grown on several million hectares. And uh, this is a country which is, has a lot of flooding problems, and so we think it would be very uh, uh, desirable for them to have a variety that's just like their favorite variety, only it's tolerant to submergence. The work is being overseen by Robert Ziegler, an American Peace Corps veteran who's been at the forefront of the movement to apply scientific solutions to help the poor and hungry. I think the biggest challenges that face us are sustaining the high levels of productivity that are going to be needed to feed populations that are still growing. And in that context, there was, there's a real challenge posed by climate change. We fully expect that the, that the storms will be more severe. We fully expect that there'll be more severe flooding. There'll be more uh, severe droughts. And the modern tools that we have at our disposal will allow us to develop varieties that, that will be tolerant to these stresses that we, that we project for the future. A lot of the criticism uh, against genetically modified food is mixed up in a tangle of ideology, philosophy, and fear born out of fear of change. If they are manipulated by people with an ideological agenda, can turn a large number of people uh, against a, it's a very powerful technology that, that can and should be used to benefit the world, especially the world's poor. So what does the future really hold for the planet? What are our chances of survival? In part three, our leaders draw their conclusions as we continue our quest for the spirit of survival. The Spirit of Survival, in association with Allianz, financial solutions from A to Z.